Hello witches, welcome back to the channel y'all. I really wanted to just focus on getting their house furnished and so uh, I will link down below the last two videos where I furnished this little section of the house. Um, all we have left is just the bedrooms and this little bathroom over here. I really like the size of this bathroom. I'm glad we actually have a pretty decently sized bathroom. I think we're gonna go with the tile from the kitchen. We're gonna keep it the same, just so that there, there is a little bit of cohesion. But I think I wanna carry some of this concrete in from the outside. Ooh, that looks really good. Also, apologies in advance. If you can hear my clicks like crazy, I don't think you'll be able to as much. Um, I actually repositioned my microphone a little bit to see if, uh, just to see if that'll help. Uh, it seems to be okay. It seems to be doing a little bit better. That being said, I did not test it. So yeah, I didn't think about that until now. Um, I really wanna use the Seasons toilet, but is that too expensive? I actually don't think it fits very good in here. Um, this is the closest one that would fit. I don't hate that though. I don't know, I kinda just wanna go with like something simple, but uh, it's a bathroom, so that's why we're doing it first because it's the most boring part. Um, yeah, bathrooms are never fun for me. Um, would they have this kind of, you know, toilet? I don't know, that just seems way too modern. I think I'm just gonna go with a really simple toilet. We'll just go with this one. We'll just go with that, yeah. We'll do a black toilet to make it a little bit fancy. You know, we'll put it underneath the window, you know, just because I like that. Um, the sink, oh, I love how shiny this tile is. The sink, I think I'm going to put the sink maybe over here. Um, let's see what we have here. I am going to be using custom content today, so uh, just check out the links in the description down below. That's where you'll find all of the creators. Um, they are all incredible and amazing, and uh, if there's any particular item that you are really, really desperate to find and you can't really find it on their page or something, just give me, you know, just ask me in the comments and I might be able to help. Um, I might do one of these floating kind of cabinet pieces. Uh, shop the look vanity. I don't know if I can, oh, I can. Okay, so there's these sinks. Um, that are actually by Harry and Felix that go on top of this. This looks really good, actually. Oh, yes. Just a simple little sink. Um, this is more of a, you know, this is the only bathroom, so um, I don't need to, you know, go crazy with, like, personalizing it too much. That being said, I do want to fill it full of stuff just to kind of, I don't know, zhuzh it up in here a little bit. Um, I did download a little bit more CC. Um, I've downloaded some of Peacemaker's content. Um, I used to use Peacemaker like primarily and that was it, but uh, it just got so overwhelming because I'm the type of person that when I download CC, I want to have all the CC, but I will say I finally, you know, just, you know, grit my teeth and download it all downloaded only particularly what I would use because I'm the type that I'm like, oh, this person makes CC and I like it. I'm going to download all of it. Ooh, these candles look really good here. These are my Tuds. Um, I really like that. I might do this like brassy color. That's kind of fun. I really want to put some art here, I think. Like maybe we'll move this out and we'll like find a painting that we can prop up against the wall there. Ooh, looks really fun. This is by Pierre Sim. Ooh, that's kind of fun. I don't know if that makes sense in here. That's kind of cute. I actually quite like that. Um, but I really want like a piece of art right here on the wall. I kind of like it being lower like that. That's, I mean, this painting I use so much from the base game, but it's so cute. And like, it really works, I think. And then we'll just do a small mirror. Nothing too crazy. Um, so I've been watching... Um, not just watching on YouTube, but I've been just like really like paying attention to like design and like going on Pinterest and Tumblr and just in general. But I've also been watching um, a YouTube channel. Um, it's it's uh, Paige Wassel. Um, her YouTube channel is incredible. Uh, I definitely recommend checking out her channel because she has such great design. She's a prop stylist and she just talks about design. And I love it because that's the kind of person that I enjoy watching. I like this. This is cute. I kind of like the mix between the modern and the vintage. It's kind of cool. 
but yeah, nice little setup there. But yeah, she talks about a, you know, design a lot and uh, it's very inspiring to me because like she really like, even though like I'm a builder in the Sims, it really like applies. So it, it makes me think about stuff differently. Okay, I kind of like that. That's cute. Nice little vanity. I could, I could, ooh, I know what else they need. So I think, I actually am not entirely sure if I have one, but like a tiny mirror, like a little mirror, you know, like something that is like, you know, this, something like that, or this one. I think this one's a little bit better because it's, um, I don't really like how like not round it looks though. This one looks more round. I can't shrink it because it's a mirror. I don't know how this is gonna fit here though. That's the thing. I could put that against the wall a little bit more and then just kind of swerve it. I feel like that kind of covers up the candles a little too much. So I'm not really the biggest fan of that. Ooh, I really like this little mirror on this, but it has stuff with it. And I don't know if there's a mirror by itself. I really hope there is, because that would be really nice. There's this little, oh, this mirror looks good. I like that. It can kind of be tucked away a little bit. You can still see the candles. I like that, that's nice. Yeah, this is this is coming along. I really, I'm trying to like ditch the whole like, oh, it's a bathroom, so whatever. No, we're making the bathroom look nice. I kind of want to get rid of the tile on the wall. I'm not really the biggest fan of that. I like it for like behind like counters and stuff, but I think just having like a different tone in here would be nice. I don't really love the orange. I mean, I do, but it seems kind of, I don't know, I really do like that. I like how dark it is. Um, see, for me, I'm more of a darker person. I like dark colors. I don't really like a lot of light. I, I mean, I like a lot of light, but I don't like a lot of just bright, stark white walls. I hate white walls. That's the bane of my existence. I can't stand them. So it really like shows in my builds because like I really tend to kind of go with darker colors. I really like this right here from the basic set by um, Harry and Felix. I don't know if it's gonna fit. Well, that kind of fits. I could use a different tile. Also, if you hear my dryer in the background, just ignore it. Um, is it, would this tile work? Yeah, this is the Grove tile. I don't know if I like that though, cause I really did like how dark that other tile was. Cause like it's very dark and I don't know, it kind of works. Hmm. I'm not sure if I like that to be honest. But I mean, I could, if I can't match it, maybe I can mismatch it and it looks good. No, I don't know. We'll try something different. Maybe we'll just make our own like custom. Oh yeah, I can see it. Oh, I can definitely see it. Okay, so part of me wants to move the toilet like right here. And then I'm gonna put a little thing here. Now bear with me, bear with me. I know this is looking a little crazy. But like, that doesn't look bad on the edge because I'm planning on putting, I mean, do I want to put this here instead? I really do. It doesn't fit. Well, it does fit pretty well. I think we'll do that. Um, so anyways, the idea that I have was making this little spot here into its own like raised kind of thing. And then what I can do is put like a wall here. See, I don't like that specifically, but I like the idea of something being there. This is too big. That's, I wish this was a little bit shorter. I'm wondering if I can like shrink that down. Yeah, I kind of like that. And I'm thinking what we can do is just right here, raising it up on a platform. I kind of like that. That way they step up into it. I don't like this anymore though. Boy, it's noisy to die. It's so noisy. Let me tell you, um, it's, you know, just living next to a main road. I'm looking for, I'm looking for some kind of room divider or, ooh, the bathroom glass. Ooh, wait a minute. That's really nice, actually. We, we can give it, make it like a warm wood tone. That's actually kind of nice. And then what if I did green? And then maybe on this back wall, I can do something a little different. Like what if I did this tile? That way I can still get the tile, but it's, ooh, yeah. Mm, I don't think I like that tile actually. We'll do that way. I'm very indecisive. Um, is it, what is it my ADHD? Is it me being a Libra 
rising? Um, or is it just me um, not knowing what I'm doing? It could be a combination of all three. So um, let's see. I don't mind that actually, but I kind of would rather it be green to match. You know, I wish we had more platform styles. That'd be nice. Ooh, wait a minute. I kind of like that actually. That's kind of fun. It adds a little bit of color. The black though. Ooh, that's kind of nice because it accents the uh, like the the fixtures and then it's got like some warm tones. I do like that. What if we change the tiling in the bathroom? That makes me want to do that because we have that tiling that came with, what is the pack called? Courtyard Oasis. Yeah, this one. Um, this would look so nice in here, I think. We can do this one. Ooh. Oh, girl. Oh, honey, that's so pretty. I don't know if I want to use that, to be honest. Maybe instead we'll just use it there, though. That's nice. Yeah, I think that works because, like, it keeps it from being too busy. And it keeps it from being too, like, much in here. So I think that's good. I kind of want to, like, put this here now. And then maybe put a cabinet here. Yeah, I, I, I'm definitely liking this. Okay, I'm getting into it because I don't know. You know how I am. I'm just always like, oh, bathrooms are the most boring room in the house. And I'm like, sure, but it doesn't have to be. Also, this window is still here. Why? I'm going to use, should I? Is it this one? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Is it weird to use these big windows in here? Maybe I'll just do one. Maybe we'll do one like to the side here because like nobody can like see in to this as much, right? Let's do F I. Yeah, we'll do that. That way there's some more light in here. But like, ugh, I just have ideas. I just have ideas. Cause you know me, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll give them an outdoor shower. That might be what I need to do. Cause I really love doing that. Cause it's just so fun, you know? And they live in Los Angeles, you know? Yeah, it's Del Sol Valley, but it's Los Angeles. So, you know, there's really not, there's really like no like bad weather. So. Oh, is that a toilet? Oh, it's a bidet? Honey, I did not know I had that. That doesn't look that great there. Um, no, we'll, we need to give them something fairly inexpensive here, just like some kind of shelf. And this is where the hard part comes in, is finding something that just looks right. Because there's the base game one. I don't want to use that. I don't really want to use anything that's too big. I want it to be fairly narrow. Um, this one's kind of nice. I do like it because it has that wood swatch. I don't hate that actually. And it kind of hides the toilet a little bit. I would I would want to put some kind of light in here. Something that isn't too big. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. I mean, there's this one. This one's cute. It is a Friday, y'all. It's the traffic is very present today. It's a warm, sunny day at 4 p.m. on a Friday. So it's gonna be a little noisy um and it's fine it's okay oh well, we could use this one it's kind of mid-century modern and it it's from get famous so it fits the vibes i like this okay and then i think we're obviously going to need some kind of drapes or curtains or something um we could always go with we could always go with the tried and true desert oasis kit ones those are always nice i do quite like that the green is kind of a vibe though. I kind of don't hate that. This looks a little strange, but I'm wondering if I can get this. So I'll find the dark brown swatch that I like, that one. What if, okay, hear me out. We use tool mod. We scale it up like 1.1. So it's like the tiniest amount bigger so that we can cover that. There we go. Isn't that, okay, that works really well. Um, oh, I don't want that. I want the dark brown. That's the dark brown. It's very, it's like in the sunlight. So yeah, um, I like keeping this open because honestly, just imagine, I mean, yeah, well, I don't know. there's a fence here. There's a tree here. I mean, there's going to be some privacy. Um, so imagine them opening this up and just having like a shower and the steam like go out that way. That would be so nice. Honestly, I can see that. Um, I would want to put some kind of shelf in here, something small, um, something that isn't going to be in their way. Like just a little itty bitty shelf, you know? I don't know if we have any though. I could be, you know, if you, if you do know, you're probably screaming in the comments being like, there is one, it's this one, just use this one. But I, I don't really know off the top of my head. I mean, I could just go with this one. It doesn't seem to be too bad in the way. I can always player test it too in a bit to see um, if it works or not. 
had to take a little water break there. My voice was getting a little overused because, you know, it is, the, the traffic is so loud. I know that y'all are probably gonna be like, we don't hear it, and, I, and that's fine. I probably probably don't hear it either, but like, it's just so present. My brain is just like, I don't know. I think I'm just very hypersensitive to sounds, I've realized. This is nice. It's a soap dispenser, but it's super fancy looking. I like it. I like the red. It's kind of nice. It's like an earthy red. And then let's see, skincare essentials. You know, I really want to talk to people who have loud anything like vehicles. Like I get it if it's like you're struggling, you know, and you can't afford a nicer vehicle. I get that. I'm not talking about th those people. Mm -mm. I'm talking about the people that fly like a bat out of hell and they want to come and drive past my house as loudly and as possibly as they can. So yeah, I'm a, just a little frustrated by that. Just saying. So yeah, um, just if you're gonna drive crazy, just go in the country. We, we literally live in the country. Like there's not that, it's not that far. I'm just a little salty y'all, it's fine. Um, and no, let's get them some toothbrushes. I think I'm gonna put a couple, like, well, oh, what if we did three? Cause there's three of them. I'm gonna do that. Let's see, okay, okay, let's let's pick out their toothbrushes. So Alistair would have, um, let's say Alistair would have the blue toothbrush. Um, Jay would definitely have the, um, we'll give, actually, you know what? We'll give Alistair the white toothbrush, Alistair the blue, and then Aaron would get the solid black because he likes solid black, you know? But yeah, let's see. Um, I'm trying to find some other decor I can put here. I could put this somewhere, but I don't really like that. Um, oh, just this little soap bar. That's nice. Yeah, we'll do that. Cute. Okay. I like that a lot. And I think I want to put something over here. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm just going to do... Why is the nectar here? That's weird. Let's find a good towel rack. I think that's what we need here is a nice towel rack. Ooh, this is... I mean, it's just hanging on the wall. I feel like that's weird. Um, we could do this towel rack from the bathroom set. I really... I'm just going to be honest. I actually don't like these in real life. They take up a lot of necessary space but it looks good in the game we'll, we'll do that maybe put some vases down there i think that looks cute and then just a little mat here just something small i kind of just like using the solid color here this is from the uh, heritage collection by harry um just a little little mat here something solid that's kind of nice actually put that there yeah that looks good and then um we'll do a little we'll make i don't even know this is by Tuds. It's from a, uh, like a toddler set, but it's like a little leaf. We'll put it in front of the toilet. And is that really all we need in here? I might put the, put that there. That looks better. And then just some art in here. And then we'll, we'll finally be done with the bathroom. Honestly, that may be the longest I've spent on a bathroom in The Sims. Maybe not. Maybe that's not maybe true. I don't think it's true, but, um, but in all seriousness, that did take me a little bit longer than I expected. And you know what? I'm not mad about it. City living paintings, like these city living paintings are just so good. I love them. They just add so much color. But yeah, a nice little bathroom. Pretty cozy, pretty simple, but still big. And now for the hard part. <laughs> it's the bedrooms. So uh, the way that I normally play this is because, you know, they're a thruple, meaning they're in a three-way relationship, okay? So they, usually it is Alistair and Jay sharing a bedroom. So it's this, this, um, this, this, this cutie here, um, and, you know, himbo James over here. Well, he, okay, so a little insight. So this is Jay Huntington III. This is Jay Huntington the third. He is the base game sim. Um, I just changed his name to James because uh, I actually made his dad too, and his dad is James Huntington the second. So you know, um, we'll we'll see him later probably. But uh, yeah, uh, the, his name is James. So uh, yeah, he's still Jay. But anyways, uh, but yeah, James and Alistair usually sleep together in the same room, and then. Aaron, the way I do it is Aaron, he likes sleeping alone. You know, he likes being in the room. Like sometimes they'll, you know, swap around or something, but he's more of like a loner. And plus he's a freelancer. So he likes kind of, you know, having his own space. You know, he's, he's like independent. So 
I think we'll start with Aaron's bedroom, just because it's for one sim and we can focus on one. So I think that'd be good. Um, I kind of want to, let's see, let's, let's just see what kind of colors I think he would really like, like, because I don't want to just do dark green, because like, I, I've done that in like every room of the house. You can tell I have, um, more than a, more than an appreciation, but an obsession with dark green. Um, I use it in so many builds. So we're going to change it up today. Make sure that this bedroom is actually personalized because the reason why is like i like cooler tones in bedrooms but i also don't like blue <laughs> so it kind of limits what i can use there's this really pretty sagey green but that's not really air and we could just go dark i mean we could try that let's let's just give it a go let's just give it a go let's just see you know might as well okay so i need to buy, find a good bed this kind of speaks Aaron's name a little bit. Yeah, I kind of don't hate that. Let me look up bed frame. So bed frame. Okay. Let's see. I want something that is pretty simple. That's kind of nice. I do like that a lot. This is from, oh, this is expensive. Oh dear. Okay, I need to be wary of the fact that it's going to be expensive. So maybe I'll just use the frame that it came with. That's probably a better option. Yeah, that looks good. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. We just have one more bedroom. And then I am also going to be doing some stuff on the outside. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm, I have to limit myself just because, you know, they don't have a lot of simoleons. So yeah, I'm probably just going to put a few things out there, like some hangout stuff, but nothing crazy. Yeah, I kind of want to put his bed over here in the corner like this. I normally put them in the middle, but it's just him sleeping here. So um, we'll keep it pretty simple. Ooh, I like this little, it's an end table. I like it. Hmm. I don't know what color to do. Maybe we'll just do like a dark wood tone. Yeah, that looks nice. It's going to be kind of moody in here, I think. But um, I think what we'll do to kind of, you know, go against that is I might just add lots of candles and plants. And I think, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, if I'm going to add, you know, all those dark colors, I might actually just bring that orange in here. I kind of don't hate that, but I'm not sure if I love it. We could do two-tone. Ooh. Now, that is an interesting thing to try. Ooh. I know it's green, but it ch it's different. I kind of like that. We won't put it in the whole space. Honestly, I might just do it on that wall. That's kind of nice. But yeah, I need something above the bed that will fill the space nicely, but not too much. Something like this, maybe? Ooh, I do quite like that. I don't know if I like that specific painting, but I like the size. Also this one. That's kind of cute. It has that green and the bluish color, but it has black. And then I can accent. So I can find something that's yellow that will go here. So maybe like a yellow lamp. That would be kind of fun. That way we're still getting that, you know, dark vibes, but we're bringing in some color. Now finding something that fits that vibe. That's going to be the hard part. So um, I don't want it to be a candle. It needs to be a proper lamp. There's this one. I kind of always go with that though. But that's kind of cute. I don't hate that. I kind of want to move the window over. Yeah, I really like that. That's nice. Yeah, we're just going to go with that one. Because, you know, it's a tried and true. I use that lamp so much. I'm thinking maybe we'll do a mirror above here, maybe. Ooh, that one's kind of fun. I don't know if that fits the vibe, so. I want something that is pretty, like, unique. And it isn't just, like, a simple mirror. I want something to, that has some, you know, it's got some shape to it. Ooh, that one's kind of it's kind of fun. I don't hate that. That's pretty nice. I kind of want to put a, a tapestry in here. This is actually for kids, but I don't hate it. I kind of like that. That's actually kind of cute. Ooh, yeah, we can just kind of randomly put stuff in here. Oh, it's a cork bottle thing. I like that. That's kind of realistic. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of like mixing and matching like the shapes and like the designs and the colors. Um, ooh, that's kind of a fun little pop of color. I need like a skinny painting, possibly. I could just take one of these. I like this one and like put it here. 
Mm, I would want to do like this. Bring this down a bit. Maybe bring this down. Yeah, that's kind of nice. That's a nice. And then can we make this like a dark? That changed so much about the room. Just doing the bed frame changed so much. I really like that. Oh, man. <laughs> no, we're just going to keep it dark. Um, so yeah, I mean, theoretically, I don't know why I have this computer in here now. We can just make that like an extra computer. I'm actually going to have Aaron's office in here, I think. Oh, that's a fancy desk. That's too fancy. That is a thousand simoleons. Um, let's do this one. This is a nice little desk. I personally, personally prefer my desk being near or in front of a window because like I can't stand being against the wall. Like, I don't know, I just feel very like isolated. But at the same time, I actually just like it because it gives me natural light. I don't hate that one, that one's kind of fun. And this is actually a laptop by uh, my Shuno son. I think I actually have, oh, that was really expensive. <laughs> this is an all-in-one PC. It's kind of cute, it's quite expensive, but you know, it makes sense. I do like that. We'll just do a nice little desk chair. Wait, what is that called? Ari desk chair. I thought that said Aaron desk chair. That was cool. What? What? Oh, I probably should find a, a proper like wardrobe first before I get into any more decorating. Um, I could just do this. This is pretty nice actually. Ooh, I do like that. Oh, the green is kind of fun, but hmm. I mean, there's that one. I don't know. That one's a little too much. I kind of like that. It makes me want to change this one though. Mm, no, I like that swatch too much. I'm going to go with something different. There's this one, but that's not really his vibe. There's this one. This is kind of nice because it's got some contrast, but I don't know. I don't know if I love that one. I really like this dresser actually. It's one of my favorites in the game, but I don't really use it a whole lot. Oh, this one's gonna be perfect. Yeah, that one's that one's good. I like that color temperature, but I think I'm gonna give him a TV as well. Yeah, I think I think really the vibes, and this is kind of how it always has been with the three of them. Ooh, that is, mm -mm. <laughs> we cannot afford a nice TV, okay? Um, we're giving him we're giving him a cheap TV for now. Um, we need to probably wrap it up in this room and then move on to the next one very soon because um, it's yeah, it's getting expensive. Yeah, just a simple rug in the middle of the floor. I don't love the placement. I don't love that placement. That's not really the vibes. This one is like perfectly fit for this room. Do we want to use that? I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. I'm not a really big carpet fan. So that kind of looks like it's a carpet. Carpet? Carpet. Yes. Hmm, this is really hard. There's not really a whole lot. I mean, I could go with this one and then just use tool to size it up. Cause, cause, cause I can't, because I can, I stuttered like crazy there, but cause I can size it up in game, but the tool mod is a lot more precise. Ooh, that's nice. I feel like that ties everything together really well. And then we're just gonna go with, I think we're just gonna go with these really inexpensive curtains um, from the Desert Oasis kit. That's really nice actually. It's very nice and moody. And then I can actually, um, thank God they put this back in the curtain section because it's so much more easy to find it here. Um, but yeah, we'll just do like that for, I don't know if I like that. I think if I was going to do this, I would want to do it like this. Yeah. And I kind of, I kind of want to do another window. Is that too many windows for back here? It really is. Yeah. I think I might just leave it like that and then maybe put something here. It's kind of weird looking. Like these don't look intentional. Like that looks a little bit more intentional, I think. Yeah, I can't really afford too much more in this room. So I think I'm just gonna put a few little bits and bobs here and there. And this is a nice little lamp. It's cute, it's unique. And then I'm just gonna put some books. Yeah, I'll put some books, but if you're playing, if you're simming along with me, just uh, go ahead and save your game because yeah, my game kind of froze for like a mini little second there. And uh, yeah, that's never a good feeling when you have custom content because you're like, oh gosh, what if the game is, it's going to crash. Like you're just 100% convinced that it's going to crash. But yeah, we'll just do like a little stack of books here. Um, yeah, like that. That's cute. I like his bedroom. It's nice. It's not overly done, 
Um, but it's enough, I think. We'll do a mirror too. Ooh, that's a nice mirror. Yeah, we'll just do that. Yeah, something simple. Um, he doesn't have an overhead light, but I actually don't think that, I mean, I actually hate overhead lighting. Never in my life will I ever enjoy it because it's just so, it's just too much. I kind of like this lamp though. That's kind of a neat lamp. It's very industrial, but it's cool. I don't know. We'll just go with that. And then this bedroom here is going to be Alistair and Jay's bedroom. This is where it's going to get tricky because combining their style is really hard. Like, can I go? Ooh, I do like that an awful lot. That's very nice. And I'm thinking we'll just go with a bed from Peacemaker if I can find one because I know there are these single ones, but um, ooh, does that fit? No, it doesn't fit. This one fits though. No, it doesn't. No, this one fits. Yes, it does. This is just a Kyoto bedding. This is pretty nice. But I don't know. I really want this room to be... I don't... I really don't know how I want this room to look, to be perfectly honest. Um, oh, this looks so cute, but it's, like, too expensive. It's so expensive. Oh, but that's such a nice vibe. Oh, I love that. But I think we're just gonna have to go with a cheap bed. Because we... Oh, my God. They have 3,000 simoleons left. Oh, no. Yeah, I may have to sacrifice this expensive computer um, and just go with this one that's already in here. Yeah, we'll just do that for now. Aaron will get a better computer later on. <laughs> okay, so now we have 5,000 simoleons, uh, and that's something we can actually work with. So, oh, there's the bed that I was talking about. This is really nice, but I don't think it fits their vibe. I want their vibe to be very, like, that... Yeah, ooh, the purple. What if we did dark purple? That would be kind of fun. Ooh, that is a vibe. That is a vibe, actually. I really like that. These curtains are kind of um in the way, <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, but I don't hate the way that this looks. This is really pretty. Oh, I wish those had a dark swatch, but they don't. Um, let's see, we'll just go with I don't want to go too expensive. Um, maybe we'll go with this. That's nice. Yeah, I like that one. That one's a really nice color. It's not matchy-matchy, but it works with it really well. Yeah, that's that's something when I say matchy-matchy. Um, I don't recommend just making everything in the room the same color. It, in some ways it works, it does, but at the same time, it can be kind of boring. Nice. Ooh, the green and the purple kind of work together. That's kind of... Ooh, I do like that a lot. All right, let's find them a wardrobe really quickly. Um, this arched one by Mashuno Sun is pretty cool. I kind of like that. It's very dark in here, and I don't like the walls. Yeah, it's very sad. So I'm thinking maybe we'll do an accent wall of something that works with this. I kind of want to do like wood or something. Something that's just a little bit different. That's kind of fun. This honestly makes me want to add, I, I kind of want to add this to some other rooms. If that isn't a vibe. Oh, honey, hush. That is cute. That is cute. That's from the Oak House collection by Pierre Sim. That's beautiful. It makes me want to put it in here too. Oh my, oh, oh, honey. That's gorgeous. That's so pretty. I'm just gonna put it like here. I think I'll actually use this green. Yeah, that is something. Let me tell you, that chance transformed, transformed. <laughs> However, I don't like this now. <laughs> so we will get something different. I could do like a little wardrobe kind of in the corner here. Ooh, that's kind of fun. I don't like this, but we'll do like this maybe, or like, oh, that's better. Those don't match. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. So yeah, let's just, hmm, I need there to be two because I want them to each have their own. And this is kind of cute. This is from the Tiny Traveler set by Harry and Felix Nader. That's kind of nice, actually. We can do two of those. Yeah, we are running slowly. We, not slowly, quickly. We are running out of funds. So I'm gonna hurry. I'm gonna do black curtain. We're running low, y'all. We're running so low, but I, we're almost done. We're almost done with this house. I think I'm just not going to worry about the exterior right now because um, I will make sure that they make some money before then. Of course we will. 
of course we will because like they they're doing pretty well in their careers um but let me just find some nice lamps we could do some sconces oh that would be cute just some nice sconces oh these are oh this is 400 simoleons that's not gonna not gonna work i'm really trying to find something Ooh, no Ooh, maybe this one no <laughs> I might go with this, actually. This is very narrow. I'm not really a big fan of that, actually. It's too dark. I'm just gonna do lamps. <laughs> lamps are cheaper anyways. I feel like they would be cheaper in real life, so we're gonna just go with that instead. Uh, I don't know what kind of use. Oh, this is cute. These are cute, too. I kind of like this lamp. It's kind of nice for both sides. That's cute. It's definitely a work in progress still. Um, but I think for the most part, this build is at least, at least somewhat complete. Um, we have some landscaping. We have the house pretty, it's, it's furnished. It's furnished. It's not full, but we have, yeah, we've got everything we need. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for the build part. Wow, we're actually in gameplay. I may wrap it up here, actually. It's been quite a, quite a while. But uh, yeah, I hope y'all are excited. I am so excited. Oh my gosh, yeah, see, he's excited too. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited for them to use our house. It, let me, let's give you a little tour. Let's do a little tour. So welcome to Inner Circle. This is a home located in del sol valley look at how beautiful this street is i love it but we have a nice little entrance here with this you know nicely painted door and the plants you walk in and then you're greeted by a really nice and moody kitchen with lots of little you know just just, just nice lighting like look at the lighting there isn't a curtain but look at that light it's so pretty um but anyways um we have a nice little laundry room with an extra desk and then uh, we have another room here this is the living room it's nice i love this new couch we got from that new kit we got a nice big bookshelf we've got you know this is a nice nice living room i love these little chairs i don't know why they just they really speak to me a lot we've got jay and alistair's bedroom it's pretty empty right now i kind of am not loving it it's very, it looks very dated, so I may change that in the future. And then we have Aaron's bedroom, which I think I like a lot more, honestly. Uh, I, I was able to spend more money on it. But, um, you know, maybe maybe Jay and Alistair were like, listen, Aaron, you have your own bedroom. It's your own space. Let's prioritize your space first because we aren't really going to use our bedroom as much as you are going to use yours. And so, yeah. Um, but yeah, nice little house. It's beautiful. I love the vibes. Um, but yeah, do let me know what y'all thought of today's video in the comments down below. And if you do enjoy this kind of content, please just hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. Um, it really, really helps me out so much, especially if you hit the like button. Girl, let me tell you, that is so helpful. I know that a lot of people think that that's just like, oh, like it if you liked it and all that nonsense. But no, it helps the algorithm. It helps tell the algorithm, hey, um, this is something that more people will like. So put it out there, you know? So yeah, just, just do me a favor, hit the like button. But yeah, that is everything. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. And that's everything. Thank you all so, so very much for watching. Stay weird. And I'll speak to y'all next time. Goodbye, witches.